Well, this is totally Persona 4. I don't know what you're talking about. Hi, Rafa. Happy April Fool's Day. It's totally Persona 4. Totally. 100%. No arguing. It's what this 100% of Persona 4 works, remember?
100% Persona 4, stuck in the Midnight Channel. I did survive, yes. I had nothing bad really happen to me today. So since, so since I'm grinding with Teddy, Teddy here, is there... When does he actually learn Buffalo? Because I'm a little... I mean, I know I started him up a little late, but... I kind of would like to learn Buffalo at some point. This minigame's really weird. What do you mean? This totally is a Persona game. Nothing. It is Persona, point for point. There's nothing weird here. Nothing weird in the slightest. I talked to NPC and they said I had to play this mini game. It was the best way to grind up my my extra party members. Just not hit shadows every every five minutes. Okay. All right, the jig's definitely up at this point. Figured it was for a nice bit, but. No, this is Sonic Robo Blast 2 cart. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oops. Let's get myself a player character I'm a little more familiar with. There we go. Proper color. And this is all I'm going to do, and I'll actually start playing Persona 4. What did you do now, Mama Jelly? I wish there was grinding because I would like to like without having to manually grind through stuff with uh without having to manually grind through stuff with, with uh Teddy and Yosuke and soon to be Naoto. Well Naoto probably to a lesser extent. Like I would like to try them to some extent, but I don't want to like neglect my party members because I feel like I'm at a perfect tipping point where if I neglect any of my party members and don't grind, it's just funzo dunzo. I really wish I could grind. <laughs> or I really wish I just had like a quick level up thing I can get that's not New Game Plus or anything like that. Also, this version of the game and OBS does not like do not like to play along. I, I keep dropping frames occasionally. Or I guess my computer decides to have a heart attack every now and again. I should actually probably stop. All right. Actually stop and go on with the actual thing.
<laughs> that is unfortunate. Oh, but let's go ahead and boot up the actual game, which, hey, guess what? All it takes is a click and a push of the home button, which I hope my... Yep, I'm good. And I just got to click this off. Click this on. I hope as soon as his parents find out his ass is grass. Skipping homework is the quickest way to lose to get your to get a bad grade. Come on. Come on. Also let me make a Twitter update really quick. Oh, great. That sounds like a fantastic com com uh, com uh, combination. I didn't want to go to school that much when I got older, but I mean, those two are going to have lovely chemistry in a couple years. I'll just say that much. When, because he could, because he didn't, he didn't make the marks to graduate. Hey, it don't matter. Because he didn't make the marks he needed to get into junior high or high school. He can't, he can't. Uh, he can't get a proper education as to take his GED if he can even pass it and he'll be blaming his mother for the rest of his life so let those two have fun I know you probably love your nephew but you could but you could you, only, you can only extend your bounds so far I've got four I got five nephews I'm well aware. Anyway. Now I forget what the last thing I left off on was. Other than fruit time. Other than some what's a man on. Or cantaloupes. Or and or, also known as melons. Nara. Nara, you missed the bit. Hold on. Did that say, just say bead melon? Hell yeah, revival in a fruit. We're planting more. Uh, I was going to talk to Nanako tonight, I believe. So anyway, now that I'm done playing the Midnight Channel level as Teddy in Sonic Robo Blast 2 Kart, how's everybody's April Fool's Day? Did you get got by anything? Did you get Did you get duped? Did you see anything that was a hee hee ha ha that was a that you actually made you want wanted to be a real thing? Like Harada being actually being added to the Tekken 7 cast. That's actually something I would adore. Oh, this doesn't sound like it's gonna go well, but continue on your story. Oh shit. I noticed you gender bet flurry. Is it flurry or just flurry, like snow flurries? Is it French or American? <laughs> Fleuron. Never heard of it. I'll, I'll Google it really quick while I do nautical stuff. Um, Don't take that out of context. You will. I, I already know. Well, we spend time in nautical regardless, because understanding can come when, when nights of... Uh, Dojima sauna around. Um, 
Fleron. Fleron. Or Fleron. Or Floron. Floron. Yeah. It's like an accent puff pastry? It's a type of puff pastry. Neat. I learned a word today. Fl Floran or Fliron. Either or apparently is what uh, Google says. I spent a precious moment with Nanako. Which is impossible for there not to be a precious moment because Nanako is a fucking precious bean. If anybody hurts her, I'm gonna stomp him. Yo. Gonna pull a kanji. Get bent! <laughs> uh, for. Social links. Eh, look forward to it. Be simple. Uh, Nara, with that, do what you want. Uh, whisper, be preferable, but I guess I don't care if you want. I'll give you a little. I'll let you like bump your art, your commissions, and that jazz. It seems to be announcing a beauty pageant that will take place during the culture festival. Uh, on top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it. Oh, that's great. So that's why she agreed to plan this event. Uh. Uh-oh. Chie Y. Wow. Hi, Lamp. Sorry, I'm repeating it for you guys, but Lamp, you missed my bit. <laughs> Now, oh, now to Shiragani, Hanukkah, Otani. I don't think I've met an Otani. Oh, Hanukkah. Never mind. I may have played as Teddy on the Midnight Channel, on the Midnight Channel level in Sonic Robo Blast 2 Kart for about 15 minutes. Without end. No. No, no. I didn't do that. There was no such thing. Listen. I'm not a fit boy. I'm not a fit boy. Even if I was, doing that is a ban. I'll say, but please, sir, don't ban me. I don't want to be banned. But they'll just... And I'll, and I'll hit that and they'll say, nope, nope, ban already. It's double ban. Triple ban. Bandwagon. Wow. Yukiko-san's finally entering. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. Actually, I Creepy. hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's, uh, pretty cute. <laughs> Disgusting. DISGUSTING! Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. But, to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> DISGUSTING! They're high schoolers. for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. Why? She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. 
Oh god, is this gonna be the... Is this gonna be the make a proper lady out of them arc? And Kanji is the most ladylike of the guys? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Listen, he's a tough boy, but he's also a, se a seamstress or a sewer. Whatever you want to say. Oh shit. <laughs> Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. And self-incrimination. So it was you. Oh crap. Train the dragon. Do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? Simple. The part that at least one of them has no interest in that. The other one is too shy about that. The, one of them is trying to run away from that. And the fourth one didn't even, didn't even start the school year being recognized as that. Have I covered everybody? Kanji wants to enter though. He'll, be, he'll he's the best girl. So where do I fit in? Oh. Well, excuse me for not fitting in. Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. <sighs> what? Well, I, I, I didn't say nothing. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? Uh, confliction. Here's where I, here's what's going on in my head. Yes, I do, because they are cute, but not really because it's against their own will at this point. At least one of them, or at least three of them. Teddy's looking forward to it too. Ooh. Sorry, I just make it, just checking something. I cl I uh, clip my heel on something. And I want to make sure nothing bad's happening down there. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. Incorrect. position if we can't refuse i suppose there's no sense in arguing the point but it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage i wonder if there's any way i could take it up with the school authorities please do uh, i don't think it's a problem at all i mean just do it you know seriously dude looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual <laughs> your blood's boiling so much you're turning purple 
Sanji. Just tell her you want to see her on the stage. Yeah, that tastes purple. God damn it, League. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. Okay, that's actually the calmest he's ever been. That's a little unsettling that he's the calmest about this kind of situation. If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Oh. He's still... Okay, got it. Come on! Make me a man! Kanji, word choice. Doubts? What are you talking about? Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? <sighs> Cornered. So people will say I like dudes. God. We're back. I'm so tired. Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Yeah. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Whoa, okay. Yosuke is currently like He's just going to he's just going to die, isn't he? Wait, what? It oh. was your proposal, right? Oh. Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table, conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? Uh, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah. Okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, want to be the batter? Uh, uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back in your face. Derailed. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. Welcome back. Hi. I can, but I can't talk to you, so it is time. It is time to get more understanding. It is time to be a null understanding boy. Hi, Risei. Uh. I could just ditch it and hang out with Reese tonight. That my hope, and when I, next time I get to hang out with her, just advance it automatically. Hell with it. Oh, advance that. Advance that link. Do that one. <laughs> All right. Relationship with Risa grows stronger soon. Good. That means I don't have to spend any more. I'm upset. Good night, senpai. <laughs> I realize I'm I'm currently on the lover's route of <laughs> with Rise, but that makes me, that name of that alone makes me upset. 
You still stay in there gawking? Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no, no. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Thanks, Nara. I see what you mean now. See, Yosuke Hanamura. Me? Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too. I said no! <laughs> Bitch! This year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really wrong. Someone else signs you up? It's them. They must have done this. Yeah, and guess who... And guess who... <laughs> held them to the knife point when they had to do it. I know to suffer because you're a jackass. Up. Oh, Kanji's like a bat out of hell. Have a damn good explanation for this. They have a perfectly fine one for you. Cross-dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing. Risei Chun started saying, let's all have fun with this, so I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. You little this is cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! Valid. It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right. Again, valid. That's beside the point. Why am I agreeing with Chie today? Wasn't it just like a month ago where I was still yelling at her for everything she said? Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? Yukiko, you're way too uh, excitable, excited to do this. That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it. Kanji, you're already having issues. I mean, I'm stuck in it, so fuck it. <laughs> Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. Already, sorry, suckered into it. Can't back out. Might as well fucking go ball, balls in on it. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. There's no way she's gonna listen. Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this. Period. Kanji Kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. Oh. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Damn. Tamed the beast, Please even. Leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risei Chong's with us, too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. I don't feel any, I don't feel so good. You're positive we'll be pretty? I don't feel so good, Miss Satanaka. <laughs> I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. And now I'm resonating with Kanji. Fucking hell. <laughs> There's nothing manly about being a woman. I seriously refuse. Oh. 
Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. Got him. Why is this happening? Why isn't it happening? Why is there no one for it? Weird. Some we days I get, some days I don't. Same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? You started it. Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> oh, welcome back. Well, you're not free to chat tonight. Anything in the fridge? Okay, I'm gonna go out. Hopefully, I don't get stopped. Damn. Can't even sneak out to handle this. So is this going to be, uh, is this going to be a bit? Oh. Yukiko is have is awkward. Oh, this is so embarrassing. And that's why. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. Do you think you're on the second floor? Everybody's probably on the first floor because they're gonna see if they can get out of school early. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Shills? Uh, who? Take a wild guess. It's me. Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. But there's only five of us here. Yo, how's it going? Fix it. I came to check up on you guys. Perfect timing. But now we've got four guys and two girls. Eh, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. Why don't you can sit on the girls' side? What? I'm not gonna... If we're gonna do this, why not go all the way? <laughs> you never run out of surprises, man. Oh, come on. At least make a kanji. Well, let's get started. Uh, uh, you guys can start now. You're the one that wanted us to do this. Your ball. Ball's in your cart. Will someone please start? Ball is still in your court. I have a pass because I am a silent protagonist. my fault for bringing up the shill thing. <laughs> yeah, so you are now demoted from class rep to janitor. It's to enjoy your new life. Uh, oh, okay, uh, out of the three of us here, who would you date? Hey, I object to this line of questioning. Okay, so male class rep was one... 
Probably Daisuke, because I feel like Ko doesn't get a lot of sp uh, spotlight for some reason. Oh, don't worry. All right, let's start with you, chie -san. Huh? Wait, um... <laughs> uh, well... On the spot, on the spot. Get them both awkward. Uh, me? Uh, who would I choose to take? Well, th that's private. Isn't it? Okay, your turn. Who would you want to date? Done. <laughs> Whoa, way to go, Kanji. I mean, <laughs> isn't he a perfect guy for you? <laughs> Without hesitation. Zero hesitation. Oh, definitely not. You son of a... I ain't kidding here. If you don't stop bringing that up, I ain't holding myself responsible. You got it? There, there. It's because you're so manly. Even guys can get behind that. Ha. Well, I am pretty confident that I ain't gonna lose to anyone when it comes to manliness. The silence is heavy. Risei's here. Senpai, how are you do? Uh. Hi, Risei! <laughs> Teehee! Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you later, Blazkin, dude. Uh. <laughs> Teehee! <laughs> Take my spot now, please save me! <laughs> Gone. The group date cafe is officially a failure. Hi, Senpai. Bye, Senpai. Oh, Cravity. Wow, that actually is messed up play. Don't remind me. <sighs> ah, so this is where... Ah. So this is where the whole, some of the whole uh, social things are going to come in. Is the most pe more people you've had social links with, the more of these you get to see. Uh, I'm sorry. No, we can stop that now. Oh, this is just ranks up with everybody? Hell yeah. Get some... Bonus ranks with uh, Abby. Fortune telling. <laughs> Kashiwagi. Uh, I couldn't place the voice, so. Unless it was Hanako for some reason. Oh! Welcome back. No, we won't. Okay, well, I can't talk here. God damn it.
All right. So why our classroom of all why things? Just standing there. Come on, hurry up and sit down. Come on, Kanji Kun, over here. <sighs> Teddy, is there some way to enter you Don't in this? Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Yet. What about me? It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. How? I have several questions. He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last minute contestant. <sighs> it's all I guess it makes it a four four. So you're making him suffer too, huh? Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Tokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. Me? The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable! <sighs> Why did you... Why would you leave Naoto to work with Teddy on makeup? I'm pretty sure... Naoto has not worn makeup for a day of her life because of her stipulation. Well then, um... First, I need some dazzling makeup. I think Naoto also has the easiest time because, I mean, Teddy's already very feminine, so... I mean, look at this face. And tell me that's not feminine in some regard. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. And Naoto has left Wait, the school. The Goodbye. The begins by choosing the right equipment. <laughs> we gotta use fake eyelashes, right? <sighs> Yosuke. I'm going to put you back in that garbage can I found you in on April 13th. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> so it begins. Ladies and gentlemen. It's Funky Student. <laughs> Uh oh, Nara. Wow. And can kill with both her fists and her looks. Presenting Kanji Chan of the first year class three. Here we go. Oh. So. <laughs> oh. There's. Uh, maybe he replaced it for a bit, Nara. Look through your emotes. I mean, Monday is a stream night, too. Ugh. Ew, that's so creepy! They tried so hard, and yet... This is wrong on every level! Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but... What would you say is your best feature? My eyes? Fair. And I'm sorry to leave this on screen for so long, but I just want to say, Kanji is oddly accepting of everything going on right now. It's the point of, I'm here, fuck it. <laughs> I didn't catch what he said about Yosuke, but it was probably a lie. Second 
Oh, oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> Senpai would be able to pull it off. Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. God damn it. <laughs> Do you often dress like this? Hell no. Uh, We're gonna skip that line just for his own sanity. Laughing stocks up here. What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come. Up next, our third contestant. Hold on, before I even sit, move this along, laziness is being spotted. Do you see that shadow walking? Someone's got some fucking swagger too, just judging by the shadow. Fucking swagger! Oh god, Peko Peko Yama. <laughs> Give me a minute. Oh, don't do this, just... No. Hold on, I'll fix it, hold on. Just for anybody who hasn't seen or played... Just for anybody who hasn't seen or played Danganronpa 2... I mean, it's a dead-on resemblance. Lily just needs glasses and red contacts. Done. Whoa. I thought he was cooler than that. Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? Uh, I mean... If you're gonna do it, go all the way. <laughs> wow, he was more gung ho about this than Kanji. Damn that Kashiwagi. Dare she tear away our innocence like this? Now I'm scarred for life, damn it. Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Calling herself king of the TV world, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy-chan! Fucking slay it, Teddy. Holy shit. <laughs> And it's ruined. <laughs> that was adorable. I don't care how disturbing Kanji and Yosuke were. That was all fucking amazing. The fact, the the audacity that, you know, protagonist had the swagger up on stage. Teddy was like, I don't know what's going on. 
but I'll do it. And then just decide to go even further. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasogami pageant with actual beauties this time. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. Oh no. Judge, that's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy too. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. Well then, Miss Teddy, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long-awaited day has finally come. What? I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be Tada! A swimsuit competition. Oh. Well, now it's pretty fucked, isn't she? the authority to declare that unilaterally thank you <laughs> this is great i love the direction this is going i also want to take a moment to just say that not only did <clears throat> not only did teddy slay the fucking entrance and nailed the part but he was also if you didn't catch it was also standing with his hands on his hips cocking one leg to the side he was he was he he he's got a, he's got a future in something related done <laughs> i know what costume i'm wearing <laughs> dress yourselves up as well as you can you little brats she the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait. Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. Oh. Oh, shit. He knows everybody's measurements. Your charms will win the day. Okay. So, this is just kind of a thing, by the way. I want to mention this really quick. Like, America is, like, the most... America is, like, the most anal about any kind of censorship. Like, there's... As in other parts of the world, you know, there's nude beaches and all that jazz. But even in public areas... It's frowned upon, but not illegal for certain things. So I want you to keep that in mind if you have never heard that before. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. I brought my own too. I'm ready now. What's with these people? Oh, recap for Nera because he's cutting out. Nera, basically everywhere else in the world, they're extremely lenient. They're more lenient on exposure, we'll say, than we are in America. As in, in Europe, a place like that, there's nude beaches. It's not uncommon. And certain parts not covered are is not is not illegal but is still frowned upon so hey let's let's not do this what's that getting cold feet wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win we got signed up for this you fucking skank you call yourself an idol 
But you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Enaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> you're not winning. Oh, and I suppose you think you're going to take the crown. You little snoring pig. <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you. That's it. Now I'm pissed. Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. You're effectively fighting the incredible blob right now. It's not going to work. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh. <laughs> you're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. Right, Risa chan Now, Jokun! We won't run from this, right? Me too? Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. Can I interject and say Naoto has dropped the whole I'm a dude act for this part or whoever her voice actress is? Moving on. You're not going anywhere. Oh, thank God. I don't need this anymore. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? Horny on me. Horny on me. <laughs> Bullshit, a lie, and downright incorrect. Congratulations. That liar. It's steak. Yosuke, holy cow, we get it. You two are gonna you two are gonna fuh. Thank you very much. Up next, another contestant from class two, Miss Yukiko. It's the classic case of they hate each other so much they're going to get together later in life. It's that trope. Hello. My name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. So it just Hi, my name's Rise Kujikawa. I'm I'm confused. Like that's her fall outfit, but everybody, but those two are wearing their spring their uh, summer outfit. Put on the shelf face, Rise. So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rizette's gonna do her best, so I hope you'll all cheer for me. Bitch, we just had a heart to heart about you not wanting to do that. The real Rizette, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh. Oh, thank you very much. 
Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! Hey, Kanji, here she comes. Hey, shh, pipe down. Hi, I'm Naoto Shirogane. Oh. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. Well, you lost the hat. You're cute. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I, I really don't know what to say. C can I step back now? <laughs> wow, sound direction on point. They cut the echo feed for that. That actually is great. I'm gonna need this back. You were right, Nara. I'm gonna need this. Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. Um. Is Teddy still wearing the costume? Okay. <laughs> Why? Okay, Naoto, that's fine. Gets off a little bit free. I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Risei-chan? What kind of a question is that? Hey, anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait till you hear this. For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition. Uh. You know, Chie, you're standing right behind him, and you are trained in some kind of karate. Just drop kick him through the back of the auditorium. Thank you, Kanji. Chie Senpai is cute, though. Dear God, I know I'm not the fittest man, but her roles have roles. No offense to anybody, no offense to the present company, but still. They make swimsuits that are better for that. Exactly how I imagined she'd be. Well, we've already seen this costume, unfortunately. And here's the part where everybody is gonna kind of lose their shit, isn't it? Because Teddy uh, kind of foreshadowed this. Miss Nauto. Okay. Sad news, everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? No, um... Well, don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. 
Who are you going for? <sighs> I mean, I assume this is. This has no rel. Okay. Does this have any relevance on party building? Because oddly enough, I would. Because I would oddly enough vote Naoto just to, like, a, like get a head start on that. Hmm. Fair enough. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. You didn't care in the first place. You're you're confused. You're just here putting on a face. <laughs> the androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts. We'd like to present Miss Nauto with her award now. It looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Naoto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, Senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? Cause you're a bitch. And you're a slot. Shit, I remember this scene. This is like the first thing you walk in on when you pick the Persona 4 side of PQ. This is like the first thing you, the first thing you see. <laughs> That's adorable. Ah, good thing we found you. What's up? I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Okay. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> Can I? Of course. Thanks. Then I'm going to get going. I hope you're traveling by car because your plane probably left by now. Have a safe trip. Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. God, Dojima smiling gives me hope for the future. Hey, why, why is Dojima the one that makes me the happiest? Oh, right, because he's been a struggling father. Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? I missed it too. Oh, a celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah, I'm down. Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Teddy, you're odd. You're odd. Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? <laughs> Mm. 
McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. <laughs> She's offering, why not? So even though I've never really talked to the other two, Nera, of the, between the five of us, you know, me, you, well, six of us, me, you, Charles, Emma, Mark, and Chris, would Mark, would Chris be the one to just get the single, to just get the single black coffee and then drive away? Or would that be Mark? So I feel Charles would be on the McDonald's side of the scale. <laughs> Chris will get okay. Chris will get the coffee. I feel like, I feel like Mark would be in between the we have food at home and, Mc, and McDonald's yelling, uh, chanting part of that triangle. Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms too. Wow. Oh, okay. Might as well then. Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? Everybody's gonna stay it in, and this is gonna be an awkward hot tub scene. Bet. Yo. Hell yeah, we even get a complimentary robes or whatever the hell these are. Oh, we're in different rooms. God damn it, Teddy. Well, duh. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Teddy, stop. Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. First thing they're going to do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. Let them do it. <laughs> is it one of those girls and guys together springs? Teddy. I don't want to take more than one bath if I don't have to. Well, why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? Yeah. Oh, trope's coming. By the way, what's up with this room? It looks pretty expensive. Oh, you thought so too. Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? Senpai? What are you all quiet about? I'm always quiet. Silent protagonist. Also, let me just... I'm going to pull something up really quick. Just try anybody who hasn't seen the meme to get the understanding. Because I'm pretty sure almost everybody's seen this, but I'm just going to show this off. For, I'm just going to show it off for everybody who doesn't understand what I've been going on about. So, I'm here in this corner. I'm down here in this corner most of the days. There's some people who, well, okay, I'm also showing. There's, there's some people you probably know that are in the far left corner. They're just like, I'm just going to get shit for me. I'm not going to deal with this. And then there's some people who are more responsible. Just like, we're going to go home and get food. Now that you mention it. Jeez, that freaked me out. You answer it, Kanji. Oh, what are you freaking out for? Hello? Uh oh, I see. Cool, thanks. That was the front desk. Really? Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Wow, Amagi in. Great service. Broke out in a cold sweat. Well, come on then. Let's go wash it off. I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. Uh We'll all face 
face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're gonna sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? It's a bonding moment. Man, everything on this side is so fun. Also, at least way, way read out. Everything seems a little loud, so I'm gonna turn it out just slightly. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. Thank you, Sensei. Woo! Next, next rank. Can we stop? Can we stop with this? It makes me think like the end of the game is like a month away. <laughs> I don't want to be. I actually don't want to be over so soon. Oh, Samarakam. Nice. Come on, the elevator's here. Well, thanks, Nair, for putting my worries to rest a little bit. It's just the fact we got the up to number eight. Oh, oh boy, tropes are coming. Here comes the tropes. Now is now the grand reveal. There you are. Jeez, no point being embarrassed now. Uh, wait, Rise Sun. Uh, come on. <laughs> Just get inside. Uh, Jeez. Oh, I see. So yep. the truth comes out now. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. What what's gotten into you all? <laughs> Well, there's that reveal. Come on over. There's plenty of room. Huh? Oh. Wow, now tell your skin looks so soft. Can I touch? Can I touch? Huh? Um, wow. It really is smooth. You're so lucky. You have such fair skin and silky hair. No unneeded body fat either. Hey, where are you touching? Um, Nanako-chan. Okay. Um, are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? Yeah, you came in at the bathhouse scene game crazy, but hi, game crazy. No, it's lots of fun. You know, the oh, standard anime like trope where they have a bathhouse back. scene. Oh, uh, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Wow, I bet he's so proud of you. Hey, Namako-chan, do you want to swim around? Can I? I've been swimming here since I was young. Do you still do it? Huh? Um... Why are you hesitating? <laughs> that means yes. Okay. Check out my dead man's float. Wow, you're good. Good job. Oh, what a giant spring. I'll show you all my teddy paddle. And it begins. Ow. What the Huh? Hi. We'll leave. Retreat! It's an honest mistake. We're not gonna forget this. We'll have 
Have to punish them later. We're throwing but we throw buckets today. They caught a glimpse. Jesus. Oh, it's actually the guy's turn to use the springs now. I got the times mixed up. <laughs> God damn it. Are you serious? How many buckets do they have? Yes. Really? Damn it. I checked again, and sure enough, the hot spring's supposed to be for men at that hour. They're so evil. Evil, I tell you. <laughs> I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. <laughs> Those are lumps from the pails whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got lumps, man. <laughs> Hey, uh, guys, did you, uh, see anything? God no. damn it. None whatsoever. Huh, <sighs> really? Damn it. I lead a cursed life. Let's just go to bed. Hold it, senpai. Do you? <sighs> Too. Don't tell me. Is there one here? One here? One what? Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die, aren't I? This room. It's the one that announcer was staying in before she died. My mom was talking about it. Great. Oh, God, you said it. I was trying to block it out and you had to go and say it! So that's why there's talismans here. You could go, that witch tempted us here knowing full well! Damn it! First the hot spring, now this! We've been completely suckered! <sighs> oh crap! Guys, don't worry about it. It's literally just, it's literally just some jackass walking around outside hitting a button. There's no way I'm sleeping through this. I've made up my mind. I'm going to Yuki-chan's room. Don't. I can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's sleeping faces as I drift off. Sleeping faces? Are you going to sneak into their room? You can't be... Teddy's dead, by the way. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what should we do? Uh, we really shouldn't. <laughs> then we'll have to spend the night here. No, no way! I can't! I won't! Alrighty! It'll be a surprise awakening for them! Don't. I said no. I said no. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Teddy, you better not be wearing that costume. That better not be the first thing I see when I open my eyes. It's a surprise awakening. No, a surprise break in. This is Teddy reporting in. When did you put that on? I feel awkward without it. So I always bring it. Why? Stop talking like that. Oh, check it out. A hairbrush. Oh, and it's got long strands of hair on it. Kaji. You're really into this, aren't you? Damn straight. It's time I got revenge for the camp out. Hey, good point. All right, I'll get my revenge too. Ah, a toothbrush. 
Holy crap, my heart's pounding. But what about Nanako-chan? Don't worry. Nanako-chan is a magnanimous girl. Well, well, that's true. But try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. Oh, I finally reached the photons. They're fast asleep. Really? Excuse me. Yuki-chan, I'm scared of the ghosts. You're an idiot. All right. I can do this too. Time to prove I'm a man. Cheer, senpai. Be gentle. Oh. Huh? One, two. Where's the rest of the photons? Oh. We got the wrong room. Hmm? Oh. What's going on? Ugh. Sheesh. Ugh. Nope, oh, nope. Let Teddy sit there. Hi. So that's how you guys are. Ah, uh, you should have said so. Mmm, such naughty boys. <laughs> Kanji seems happy. <laughs> Thank you. Holy crap. D don't touch me. We were crying our poor eyes out until now, you know. We thought there were no men who appreciated our beauty. All right, boys. I'm all yours. And not a word about this to anyone. Leaving now. <laughs> Come here, tiger. You're not allowed to talk anymore. I would like to point out I said no to this in the first place. Oh, this feels great. I love, love, love being able to take a bath anytime I want. How's Nanako chan? Fast asleep. Hey, did you know Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako san were staying in the room next to They knew. Those two seem to get along really well. They come and stay here now and again. Usually they come to cry when something breaks their hearts. Huh. I guess they were really devastated from losing to Nautokun. Please don't bring that up again. Well, they do make a good team. Happy. Uh be Halloween? I don't like that if he's given a save prompt. Happy Halloween! What should I do today? Not spend money on the shopping channel because I probably can't afford it. Someone's calling. Thank goodness. I knew I could count on you to pick up. Are we seriously going to have to work at Juness on Halloween? You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you. Am I getting paid? And I owe you I owe you an early grave in a garbage can. Don't remind me. Okay, I'll see you at the food court. Besides, Reese is not gonna be around today. <laughs> I've got a problem. But I'm finally done. 
I'm done too. Ooh, perfect timing. We really are a well-oiled machine, huh? But man, that costume's a good fit for you. So I was gonna say a terrible like joke. Everyday outfit. You should wear a costume too. Of course. I'll put mine on once things get underway. I wouldn't ask you to do it if I wasn't gonna do it too. Anyway, you were a lifesaver. Thanks. Con or Yosuke will remember this. Then again, as long as he's here. Ha! <laughs> Looks like he's having fun. Guess he's like our store mascot now. Huh? Hey, uh, Yosuke Kun, uh, what's going on here? Oh, there you are. These are the decorations for the Halloween fair. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke Kun. That got canceled a while ago. What? What? Hmm? I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting when they announced it. Morning, unless it was on a Sunday. No! <laughs> oh, well, maybe you were still groggy since it was so early. Well, I'll be counting on you to clean this up. <laughs> this, this is amazing, though. Did you two uh, do all this yourselves? If you're going to work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. at me like that you're only making it worse you know I could be doing other things with my day many other things with my day I came here to bail you out I'm gonna go get the trash can suggested that the concern is largely tied to public anxiety in response to the recent murders. On hearing about the phenomenon, Mr. Kozai visited the local elementary school to investigate its effects. He interviewed the children playing happily in the fog about their health and any anxieties they were facing. Kids that young don't understand the word anxiety. If it has more than two syllables and it doesn't concern a sweet, they don't care. You got a cold. It's time for you to go to bed. Hey, big bro. Are you going back home in spring? It's going to be winter soon. Yeah, it is. If it snows, can we make a snowman? We can play a lot. Well, sure. Let's play all the time until spring. All right, we will. You need to you need to rest.
Hey, it's November. Oh, don't remind me. Old Man Winter is cur is Old Man Winter keeps coming back every two days because he forgot something right now. Alright, this is gym class, I'm gonna give you an English lesson. Think of the mental strength training. Tell me what's the figure and figure saying refers to. Well I'm gonna assume geometric shapes, oddly enough. For November 1st. Oh. Huh. What about that set? Of course you're not going to help. I don't need the knowledge up, but... I went with the answer I thought it was, but I was wrong. There's oddly enough not a lot of things that talk about the answers to these quiz questions after like, after like September. I guess every guy assumes you've gotten to this point by now. Yeah. Well, Chia is available. Yeah, I looked it up, but I didn't want to like sit here and uh, sit on it forever. Uh, although I did, it did say that I do have something available to me today, a new quest or something. Yosuke is not around here. Fuck you. Oh wait, now it does chilling down here. Weird. Haven't, haven't started off that chain. Okay, Arisa is not here. Chia's on the roof. Wait. Chia's on the roof. Hold on. Not you, Nera. Nera, you didn't do anything. Settle. Also, I need to check on something really quick because this might be the start of I can't finish getting rank, full rank on everybody. Oh. Well, if I want to ex increase my rank with Adachi, I have to do, I have to find him as soon as possible. I might be screwing up some social links and not getting everything done. What did I come out here to do? Oh yeah, I came out here to see if I can get a chariot now, because I think I'm done with somebody. Yeah, I can get rid of you. Uh, dismiss. Wait, I have room. I have room for a cherry persona. Okay. It's according to that screen. I didn't say fuck you. Oh, hi, Marie. We're doing this again, huh? I'm gonna go pee while it reads out. Song of the fallen angel. The fallen angel is chained down. Her wings torn off, eroded by prejudice. Her last breaths full of black despair. Do you know her name? Will she eventually return to nothing? Forced into the realm of oblivion? No. Her requiem will become a roar and tear away the mask of hypocrisy. 
Do you know her name? She who will strike down the cowards and tear down the lies? That's right. Her name is... What is it? <clears throat> what is this? Huh? Huh. <sighs> All right. Compendium, you compendium. Chariot. Done. What? What is this about fuck Mary Kill? I I heard the poem from the back, but I do not know what it what's been going on. I need to check something really quick. I need to remember what what uh where I am in the hermit part of this. Which means I'm a quest 15, right? Oh, right. This is the one where I said I'm not going to finish this in one stream, isn't it? This is the one where I have to... Yeah, we have to start catching bugs. Oh, I have to take more, even more rides, huh? Okay, during winter, it's the main part. So I need to start catching bugs. Or I need to start riding my scooter whenever nobody's available. Otherwise, and make sure I catch bugs at times. I give everybody a cat. Kanji Teri Yosuke? Uh, well, Teddy's fucking dead. I guess Yosuke gets the pity fuck. <laughs> Delicious. 
Uh, anyone, anyone, this is okay. <laughs> oh, you killed fine. She's unlocked. Well, cause I have, I have the persona. Your heal's not that weak. Listen, you can't heal yourself. You have to like hope to God you get counter off. Jeez, they're really advanced. Can cure severe ailments now during battle. Uh. No. See you later. Too much rice. Bad. Oh, welcome back. I can't talk to you. Like not being stopped from going outside. It's understanding time, hopefully. And if not, I'll see if she is high dodgy. Basically, from here on out, or I was going to say, from here, why am I going this far? Yeah. From here on out, I have to be careful when I see Adachi, because apparently if I don't, if I don't spend every single time I see him from here to the end of the game uh, bonding with him, I won't, I won't max out his rank. Yes, the understanding guy's here. But I have a, I have a bug. Okay, whatever. The grumbling young man is here. God, he has all the alcohol. Gaze upon my beauty. Oh God, it's hideous. I didn't ask you. I don't have to work there anymore. Not even for the quest 15. I don't have to go there at all anymore. Senpai. Morning, are you say? I got her trophy. Oh, I could probably take that tutoring job now, can I? And start on another. There's like, there's two that I'm missing still. I'll decide later. Abby, deal with it. Uh, it's just cloudy outside today. You should go die. Sorry. That's probably a step too far. Okay, so Abby's here. Now she's here, but I can't pursue that. Chia was chilling in the classroom, but I will double check. Okay, no, nothing here. I 
I think, yeah, well, this is, this might be a day. There's something else I was going to do, though. Actually, I want, I'm curious. Curiosity slays me. I don't think I have anything to sell. That's what I thought. You haven't upgraded your stuff, have you? Nope. Well, it's April Fools, Nera. They're gonna they're gonna do a hee hee ha ho funny. I mean, I did, but I didn't make it the sole pro the sole point of my stream. Oh, oh no, that's uh, something else. Uh, leave the shopping. Oh wait, no shit. I remember what I was gonna do. Go back in there. So is it square or circle for this? Okay. I got a cricket and a ladybug. Yeah, I think Charles is doing his keyframes, which unless I see somebody else I know playing something interesting, I'll probably pass everybody off to Charles once I'm done tonight, which, oh my, it's already nine o'clock. <sighs> We're leaving. Go to Juness. Adachi is not here. I've been lied to. You! Tomatoes. Wait, you don't sell those, do you? Wait, who was that for? I don't need any of this. Hi, I'm assaulting you. Ah, uh, just like when I started off streaming. Yeah, I don't think Adachi is here. I'll double check here, make sure he's not sitting by the gas station or anything. Which, Yukiko's just chilling there. Um... I guess we're gonna go hang out with Ebi. I don't have a moon. I don't have a moon persona, but we're gonna go with it. Let's spend time with I. Or I guess Abby. I still haven't gone up to that to the place on the hill, by the way. Yo. Hi, Ko. Did you finish polishing those balls? If I had a moon, well, this doesn't matter for these guys, actually. Too bad I've already maxed out balls and I've polished I've polished those balls thoroughly. They are shining. Uh oh. Hi. Let's head out.
You ever polish your basketball so much you can just see your reflection? All right, let's go. Goodbye. Damn. Maybe even I was too hard on Abby. I can. Yet. Oh, I remember the thing I was going to do. Hey, ready for the ready for the bright person moment? I forgot. I can go accept that tutoring job. I don't want the sound to bleed through Nara, but I mean, you can just always ask Charles, did you poop him? You can tell him it's for me if you want to. He knows I've been antagonizing him a little bit about that. Which one do you want to read? Let's see others. Tutor! Yes. Alright, we're done here. I got them all. And Chi, let's hang out tonight. Because every time I go into Charles' stream when he's playing Monster Hunter, the first the first thing I say is, did you poop him? Because I walked in when he was throwing uh, poop, uh, dung bombs at, at a boss. Listen, it was better than going out and drag. Time. I really hate blue cheese. Like with a passion. I hate blue cheese. It is action mode. Oh, hey. So, Rune Tempest isn't here. Unless he's lurking. But, uh... That's my birthday. <laughs> well, no one's going to be wanting to hang out. It's raining. Can't talk with Nanako, right? Yes. Can I ride? I'll take a long ride if I can, because that's part of what I need to do for Quest 15. Like, okay. I'm sorry if I gross anybody out, but, like, blue cheese is like cheese is like cultivated mold to some like uh most cheese is cultivated mold of some kind it's not a secret but blue cheese is like is like one step above mold it's actually mold can i do this i can do this oh Gaia, no. I will not let you enjoy blue cheese. Like, I'm not even... I'm not even, like... I'm not even ragging on the fact that... Of people who like blue cheese. It's just... Okay. This is a personal issue. Take a long ride? Yes. I, well, that's another thing I talk about, actually, but I'll come back to you on that Silver Star. Um, wait. I'm already at the beach, I think. Okay, but anyway, I am so mad because I love spicy food. Like, 
I think I've told the story of where I had Carolina Reaper white cheddar cheese and I didn't break a sweat. I love spicy food. Everything spicy at a restaurant is served with blue cheese and it pisses me off. Gaia, Carolina Reaper. You know, you know what that is, right? Like I, 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 I hate. I'm sorry if I sound like an asshole, but you know what that is, right? Yes. Okay. In a white cheddar cheese, though. We're gonna tutor. It begins. Hi, Shu. Mom. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna res I'm gonna like have a resonation with this character too, aren't I? Of uh, expectations pushed down upon you that you don't want to do but have to do, isn't it? Fucking hell. Okay, I have two other stories. One's gonna be, one's gonna be not so personal. One's gonna be a little more personal. So as I said, 11-3, birthday. Until like five or like somewhere between five and ten years ago, I got sick on my birthday every single year without fail. One time, when I was still in, well, well, actually, it was probably about shoes age. I actually, I actually had chicken pox. My birthday had a curse for me all throughout my all throughout my general schooling life. Then the other thing is, as I said before, pushed on him, or, or expectation pushed on him that they, they, they doesn't really want to do. That was to an extent my dad. He signed me up for football every year. He signed me up to he signed me up to go do some things I had no interest in doing whatsoever. Fucking ever. But I was forced to do it because I didn't want to make because I did not want to make my dad angry because he's terrifying when he's angry. Wow, you're a little prick. Let's start with your English homework. That's fine. Really? You get knowledge from this? This is so... Wow. And tower. I have at least unlocked every single arcana. <sighs> Listen, this is the first interaction I could have picked whatever I want. I could have picked Bawyer Prick and PE easily, but 
I'm answering this how I would answer it for the most part, unless it comes to like actually advancing certain things. Goodbye. Later, shoe. Wow, hundred dollars. God damn. It's raining. It's raining. Senpai. Hey God, you remembered your umbrella for once. Wonder what's gonna come on there. Ugh. Well, it's probably Sparrow, but I've already forgotten the name because I'm paying attention. Oh, it's Cuckoo Bird. Heck yeah! Yosuke appreciates me! Too bad the feeling's not mutual. Listen, it was working for a while, and then all of a sudden he decided to just crap the bed with this whole pageant BS. Oh, which reminds me. Where the hell is it? <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure because it's raining, no one's going to be here. Yep. I guess... Oh, wait, shit. I mi did I miss the last day for Adachi, by the way? Probably did. Oops, not, not, re not maxing out Adachi. Unless he's chilling in the uh, the shopping district. Nope. Oh well. Yep. Well, that's fine. We're gonna ride. We're gonna go ride. Slow ride. Not that. Something I read said if you don't have max rank 5 by like one of the first weeks of November, uh, you will not be ma maxing rank on Adachi. So, oops. Guess I'm not getting a perfect ending and I'm just going to have to watch it on YouTube at some point. Oh well. I'm not replaying this entire fucking game. At least not within the next, at least not for another couple of years. I made it to the beach. Yeah, I can now travel to the beach. Uh, Shaish. Return to Inaba. Yep, I'll swim. Yep. I'll swim. 
in November. Also, I'm pretty sure the old man's not going to be down here, but I'm still going to ask if, see if he's down here and I can get a river rod. Yep, he's not here. Well, there's that shot in the ass for the day. Uh, I guess it's, be I guess even, well, I'm just curious. Because not much else I can do, so let's be full. Actually, I don't have your thing, I know I don't. You know what, fine. The only other thing I was going to do is go scarf a beef full anyway. Wow, this is the longest afternoon. Really? I could have got understanding that much easier. Mad. Dad's late. It's raining. Did he forget his keys? Nara, I'm already max rank. Nanako, why are you answering the door? It was the delivery man. He was asking where Mr. Takahashi's house is. Dojima residence. Oh, hi, Dad. Uh huh. All right. It's okay. I know it's your job. Uh huh. Uh huh. Big bros with me. So, okay. Bye. -bye. Dad says he's coming home tomorrow. All right. But I'm not lonely. You're here with me. How are you, a sunbeam? 95% of your life. <laughs> it's cold today, too. I was swimming. <laughs> Want to bring out the kotatsu? Dad said we could pull it out if it gets too cold. That'll make it nice and warm. I'm assuming it's a heater. Oh. It's that blanket cover for tables. Got it. Okay, I'm turning it on. Oh. What? It's not coming on. It looks like it's broken. <sighs> I'm gonna regret this. Yeah, it's probably going to cost about, I would say, hopefully only 30,000 30, yen, and I have Yay! that. <laughs> when you have some time, let's go to Juness. Every day, young life. Hi, Farf. Huh? Okay. Great. <laughs> hey, did you see that? It was really blurry, but you saw someone on the screen, right? Damn it. Is there going to be another kidnapping? Let's get together as soon as we can tomorrow. The one just now was too to jump to any conclusions but maybe someone has an idea of who it might be we definitely need to talk just remember to keep your schedule open tomorrow after school right keep my schedule open tomorrow after school to talk to Rise.
Shit, it's raining. Damn it, I have to go to this club meeting. I watched the Midnight Channel last night, as you suggested. To think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. And yet, I definitely saw someone. Could any of you tell who it was? From a fuzzy picture like that, no way. How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? Hmm, I can't think of any offhand. I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. His statement was read on TV. Farf, why do you have a foot long? But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. That's only slightly creepy. Huh, what's the matter? Oh yeah, they stuck you with the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Nanako-chan and I'm serious about living. From what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? I don't know. It was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. It was probably just a dream or your imagination. Either way, though, did you sense anyone in that world? Nope. No one's come so far. Then we might have to wait one more night and see. Yeah, I guess so. Good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night. Don't forget to check again later on. I'm back. Welcome back. Dad, the kotatsu's broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? The kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. Okay. Is that a letter? It's for you, but... Uh-oh. Hey, what the hell is this? Uh-oh. Not often we get letters with no return address on them. Well... So, I was right. Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? What are you up to? No. So you're not going to be honest with me. I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. But I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. I will have the truth from you today. D Dad? We'll continue this somewhere else, but I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. This is for your own good, got that? It's all right. We're, we're not fighting. We'll be right back, so don't wait up first to get to bed, okay? I feel like that was a no matter what option you picked, he wouldn't have lead you because even the primer, proper option, <clears throat> even the proper option, he would have been like, so you're not going to be straight with me. I'll hold on to this. Now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? 
Go on with the sh just tell him everything. Persona? People going inside a TV? <sighs> I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. Yeah. Enough. That's enough. I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. But I'd hoped you'd open up to me a little. It's a shame. Stay here for the night. Whoa, sorry. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame them. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. So, yeah, don't take it so hard. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. All right. I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Adachi's... Adachi's thing is he doesn't know how to be quiet. That's really it. Why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. Well, then you should work harder. And you're proud of that because... Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. <laughs> I've entered the information age. We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's just a cheap kid's model, though. <laughs> Thank you, Yosuke. So to use it, press this button. I'll scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. He's not picking up. It's raining right now, so I was going to remind him about the Midnight Channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? Uh, I want to go to Nana-chan's place. I promised to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Sweet! You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec. I'll try calling again. He's still not picking up. Oh, duh. I forgot to try his home line. Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? No. He got a weird letter, and Dad saw it and got angry. He took the bro to the police station. W wait, wait, what? He got taken to the police station? Stop blabbering and let me talk, too! Good evening. <laughs> this is your Teddy speaking. God damn it, Teddy. Let's get together and eat snacks again. You weird letter. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? Wait. Was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others.
Oh, you're fucking shitting me. You're fucking shitting me. No, that's this is this is not okay. This is not okay. That's actually not okay. Poor thing. I'll put you at ease soon. Wasn't that nautical chat on the Midnight Channel just now? How could it be her? I know what you're thinking, but nautical chan does fit the pattern. She wasn't seen, but she was heard. What? Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. The child became well known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako chan. A reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening paper. But even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Oh my god. I should have realized it much sooner. But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. What are we gonna do? Nanako chan's home alone right now, isn't she? I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. Yosuke Senpai is heading to the police station. He said he called Kanji Kun too. They'll explain the situation there. All right, I'll join them right away, and I'll let you keep coming, Risei Chan. Now, yes, please do. Hmm. What are you guys doing here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say you could go in there. Nanako Chan's missing. What? What do you mean? Naoto's on the phone, calling from Nanako-chan. I mean, your house. Shirogane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. Nanako. Tajima-san. Is this true? Has Nanako really been... It's true. Why? Why, Nanako? Um... It's probably because the media... What are you doing? Dojima's gone. Traffic Division, Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your man on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! Your daughter? Wait... What about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? That's... Look, this could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> but we caught the killer. How long has she been missing? Have you received any notices or ransom letters? No, but... Damn it, there's no time for this right now. Um, all right. I'll try contacting each of the departments. Even if you tell them this is connected to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my daughter. If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I'm not gonna wait for those clowns. But do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way... Shut up! That's why I'm hurrying! <sighs> 
am I gonna do? Dojima san's run off half cocked. I don't blame him. Adachi san, we'll go look for her too. So please let him go. Huh? You know I can't. So what's going on? Whoa, hey, if I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. Besides, we don't even know if this thing. Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit! The hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger? You gonna own up if something happens? Kaji kun! I know how you feel, but if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. Ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. Finally, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who is behind the others. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. You mean, Nanako-chan opened the door herself? Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. Like how it was for all of us. Um, for all of us? But the circumstances are different for her as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. So, is the killer someone Nana-chan knows? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? No, I doubt she'd let her guard down for anyone who rarely came to their house. And I'd rule out her classmates. This is beyond the capacity of an elementary school student. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm like really getting into this right now. Ourselves to people Nanako chan knows. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Huh? TV? What? <laughs> Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. You think he's using a car? Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. No unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice, since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? I think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. A car no one would notice? Is there such a thing? What would it be? I mean, the cliche is a delivery truck. So I want you... Don't need to think bigger. Hey, yeah, but I think I remember now. There is a car that no one would notice. The delivery service. It was a delivery truck. One came to my house. No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time. So he's not a stranger to Nanakoshan. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone, meaning we wouldn't know his face. Hadachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? A profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? Uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is going to be a lot more difficult than... Not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. 
The murder of that announcer. And there's a delivery man mentioned right here. I better go tell Dojima-san. After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary. Taro Namatame. The Anka singer's husband. All we know about him is his occupation, but I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. No, the door is open. You can, I know it might be a little harder for you to see on your screen, but there is like a line for tile just outside the door and the threshold's there. The address is, it's not far from here. I give him the clue and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Is he going to be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! Adachi-san! If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Adachi-san. Let's go to Namatane's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. Oh, damn. Smoke? An accident? <gasps> pushing up, pushing up to go. Dojima-san, are you alright? Where's Nanako? Hello? We need an ambulance. Quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. That's right, I should call backup too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? <gasps> what happened? I was on my way to Namatame's house. When I saw him drive past me, I, I gave chase and he... Damn it. Where's Nanako? I'm Namatame. Find him. Uh, please. But how? Oh yeah, maybe there's clues in the truck. Wait, you can't. We need to preserve the scene. Then allow me. If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. Look! There really is a TV in there! Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat. Most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learned the existence of a new world. Thus, I must save people. Save? The hell does he mean by that? <gasps> this... It's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi. Yeah. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Rise Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Wow. And that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. 
He used the same trick on all the victims. He'd just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery, then throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Namatame is the killer! We need to go save Nanako-chan. Here, let's use this TV and... Wait a sec! We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. But... If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. Tojima-san. Fug. You guys. Are you all right? I almost look like hell right now. <clears throat> Nako, she's my reason for living. If I lose her, I might as well be dead. Uh, she must be so scared right now. Waiting for someone to save her. And here I am. <coughs> when she needs me most. I'm... I'm helpless. What kind of a father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. Don't you, my son. If anything happens to Nanako... I'll make Namatame pay. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please, save her for me. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. We will rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. Holy fucking shit, that punch. Everything just got knocked the fuck right out of me. Holy shit. <laughs> Nanako-chan's on the other side, right? Definitely. There's no mistake. The police should be pursuing Namatame, so let's focus on saving Nanako-chan. Yeah, we're the only ones who can. We'll save her no matter what. I often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. We made it this far. We won't let him take Nanako-chan's life. Yeah, this is it. Let's go up. I cut him off. I made a promise with Nana-chan. I said that we'd play again and that everything would be okay. I promised her that. Regardless, we must do whatever we can with what we have now. This is something only we can accomplish. Come on! We can do this, guys! No problem! Yeah, we do this the same way as always. All we gotta do is find Nanako-chan before the next foggy day and get her out of there. Nothing to it. Let's keep calm, be careful, and get it done. It is after 10 o'clock and I don't want to end off I don't want to stop now because I definitely have something to pursue but this is a stopping point definitely look at this thick fog does this have something to do with all the fuss about the fog lately something's weird in here I think all the commotion in town has been affecting this world too well we need to hurry now 
Risei, can you tell which direction Nanako-chan is in? I sense her... that way. Wow! What's this warm feeling? Senpai, we need to save her. Chans? It's so beautiful. It's like a storybook vision of heaven. Oh. Like heaven, huh? Oh, fuck. Why is everything coming together? Please stop. Yeah, yeah. Nanako chan must really miss her. I'm sure she does. She's only a child. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Shit. We fuck. Cock. Shit. Fuck. Stop. Of course. We're gonna rescue Nana-chan no matter what. We can find Namatame later and give him what's coming to him then. First, we need to rescue Nanako-chan. Okay. I'm gonna save. This is where we're cutting it off tonight. <sighs> Guys, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. <sighs> I'm not fucking okay. <laughs> this. Oh my god. Fucking writing has. Oh, I thought it was just all silly shit all this time. And now it's just like, oh, by the way, here's where it comes all into one huge ass focal point. Every single thing that we've been going, ha, isn't this funny? No, fuck boy. This is a real shit now. And now you're caught in the middle of it. And you have a feel. fuck wrote all this I need to punch him and then shake his hand firmly because this is a this is a fucking masterpiece I'm tearing up a little bit right now like I am I'm oddly enough quelling it very well because I'm actually <laughs> equally as pissed about right now. But like, I've got tears in my eyes. So yeah, I don't want to end it off on this. I'm going to end it off on this for tonight. Uh, also, Rune Tapas, I don't know if you've been lurking, but by the way, but I just want to let you know you, you missed my birthday in the game by a couple days. <laughs> um, anyway, does anybody have any questions for me before I end off stream tonight? I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting April Fool's Day to have this heavy hitting of a fucking plot line. Yeah, because I'll probably, I'll probably, well, because, uh, just to go down the list here, because Rune Tempest up top, because Thursday, I'm going to pick up on this again, and I'm going to probably be trying to blitz through as much of the dungeon as possible, like I normally do, you know, do a one and done, one day and done if possible. Uh, Rafa, I'm feeling that shit right now. Nera, 
Um, there's gonna be one more video for Sonic Mania. Keep in mind, I think I recorded everything for Sonic Mania back when that game launched. Like, when it initially launched, not like, not like, you know, when Mania Plus launched. Because <laughs> it's still using my old ass mic. Um, there is one more video for Sonic Mania. It's a bonus episode where I just go over some of the little things hidden inside of it. Because... I talked about it breaking in my playthrough, when, and I'll mention I'll I'll mention it in the bonus video. But I unbroke it like a month into playing it because something clicked and and stopped the loop from happening. Um. What else? Uh, after Sonic Mania. If you don't know, see me looking at my memes for half a minute while I get up my actual record uh, recordings folder. Uh, ah. I will say this much. What comes after... Excuse me. What comes after Sonic Mania is a Super NES game that I think almost everybody has played. I'll say that much. Anyway, any other questions tonight? I'm going to save again just to make sure. Guys, I've been playing Persona 4 for 78 hours. You guys have fucking made this a trip. Just everybody who's come along to see me experience this for the first time. It's been a trip. I will say at least that much right now. Okay, I don't think there's actually any questions here left, so let me stop my recording here.